now available in paperback and e-readers, Isis, The Beauty Myth. Learn the beauty secrets of the goddess next door in this action-packed Isis series adventure. Get Isis, The Beauty Myth at online booksellers everywhere today. One of my viewers wanted to know if black celebrities are either aware or even care about the black female image. And the answer to that question is, many of these black celebrities are aware about their actions having an influence and an impact on the black female image, but many of these black celebrities don't care about the black female image. Now, the reason why many of your black celebrities don't care about the black female image is because many of your black celebrities are part of what I call the bootleg class. Now, the bootleg class is a subdivision of a small group of black people who live to be getting the approval of your white supremacists in places like the media arm of white supremacy. And because these bootlegs live to gain the favor and approval of whites in places like Hollywood, they are willing to sacrifice the image of black women in order to gain favor and approval with those white people. Now, these bootleg class black people are no different than your house slaves during the period of slavery. And your house slaves, they looked to go out here and get the approval of the white slave master. And they thought that they were in a better place because the master allowed them to live in the house and he allowed them to wear better clothes than the field slave. Now, your house slave thought that they had an elevated status because the, they lived in that hot plantation with the slave master, had a room of their own in the plantation, and had better clothes and ate better food. And that is no different than your black celebrity because your black celebrity is basically a modern day house slave. And this modern day house slave is no different than previous generations of house slaves like your Bill Bojangles Robinson, your Step and Fetch It, or your Academy Award winning actress Hattie McDaniel. And this bootleg class of house, Hollywood house slaves, these people, they don't really care about the image of black people as a collective, and they especially don't value the image of black women as a collective. And this is something that has been going on for the last 30 years, since the days of your gangster rap, and we've seen this black female image degraded starting with your rap groups like your NWA calling black women B's and H's, and your Two Live crew talking about how they wanted to sexualize black women, basically taking black women slowly down the road back to being the black Jezebel. And that road started to grow larger as we started to see other black female entertainers like Little Kim walk down the path that was carved by your NWAs and your two live crews. And as that road continued to grow and, 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 and lengthen, we started to see actresses like your Halle Berry then go out here and pave that road as a pathway to success when she went out here and starred in the movie Monstrous Ball. Now, your Halle Berry basically was considered to be one of the most beautiful black women in the world, and instead of trying to create a positive image of black womanhood, what she did was she betrayed the black community that supported her in order to gain more favor with whites and this led to the complete destruction of the black female image with that degrading sex scene she participated in with Billy Bob Thornton. And your Halle Berry clearly was aware of the impact of her actions on the black female image, 
because when she did introducing Dorothy Dandridge, she oftentimes talked about how concerned she was with the black image, and that was one of the reasons why she wanted to do the Dorothy Dandridge movie. However, she was willing to make that kind of compromise to gain the approval of, the, of these whites in Hollywood, and she didn't care about how Monsters Ball would impact an entire generation of young black girls and impact the behavior of an entire generation of young black girls. Because it was all about her getting that Academy Award a gold statue that would get her the approval of these whites in Hollywood and further elevate her status as a top house slave in Hollywood. And that's why she went out here and that and participated in Monsters Ball. Now, this whole black Hollywood, they have not really been, again, concerned about the black female image because we've seen actresses like Monique star in movies like Precious. We've seen many black actresses go out here and like your Kerry Washington participate in films like Scandal. And the most recent image of your black woman these days has been this whole narrative about masculinizing the black woman. It's not, it's not enough that these black celebrities have gone out here and taken our black woman's image from the pinnacle, which was Claire Huxtable on The Cosby Show, a loving, caring mother who worked to take care of her family. They brought it down from, from that to Letitia Musgrove, the black Jezebel, and now that they've gone out here and taken the black woman and turned her into a Jezebel and an emasculating sapphire, they want to further go out here and make the black woman's image even worse by masculinizing it. And an example of this was presented on a promotional poster the viewer shared with me for the new ABC show Queens. And on that poster, it tells a story that shows how little your black celebrities regard the black female image. Now, in this poster for Queens, we have your Brandy and your Eve and another black woman sitting with their legs open like a man, and the Hispanic actress is sitting with her legs crossed and wearing a dress. So what this image is trying to send a message about is saying that your black woman isn't soft and feminine. Your, wo your black woman is not somebody who is somebody that a guy could see as his girlfriend. No, it says that the black woman is hard and masculine and is very aggressive as related to who she is. So the message that they're sending with the image uh, as related to Queens is that the black woman is not anybody you would consider to be a queen. No, she's somebody with a masculine image and that's the narrative that white supremacist Hollywood wants to push as today as related to the black female image because they don't want anybody to see the black woman as soft and feminine because they fear competition from the black woman. Many of your white females, they don't want you to see a black woman as soft, feminine, and beautiful. No, they want you to see the black woman as hard and masculine and this is something that the Hollywood institution has done ever since 1934 with films like Imitation of Life. Now in that film they had an image of Claudette Colbert and Louise Beavers together and in that those sequences they showed Louise Beavers being twice the size of your Claudette Colbert and your Claudette Colbert was presented as soft and feminine, but your Louise Beavers was presented as hard and masculine. And your, again, your black Hollywood knows these days about how degrading these images are, but because the bootlick class wants to continue gaining the favor of their white supremacist slave masters in Hollywood, they will just sit there and go along to get along and again, this is not about the money. 
this is about the social currency and the favor and approval that these celebrities can get from their white slave masters because they want to go out here and be that house slave group that considers themselves individuals and they want to continue remaining special in the eyes of their white masters. So these people really do not care about the black image because they've got the mentality of I've got mine, screw you, and they don't care if they screw over the entire black community because they've got theirs and they're getting the attention and approval of their white masters. So they don't really care about black people in communities being influenced by their media. No, they've got their pockets full of dollars and they've got a white man patting them on the back, telling them that they're doing good work. And that's all that matters to many of these black celebrities. Then that's why most people out here have to go out here and support new black media like I present on the SJS Direct imprint because on new black media like the SJS Direct imprint, I feature images of soft feminine black women and I present you stories that show how your black woman is somebody who is strong, not trying to be like a man, but strong like a woman because a woman's strength is not trying to be the equal of a man. It is having the strength of character to be in that help me role that God established for women. And your white supremacists don't want you to see the inner strength of a black woman. They don't want you to see the beauty of a black woman because they fear that their white woman will pale in comparison to the black woman. So that's why they go out of their way to degrade the image of the black woman. And they degrade the image of the black woman by going out here and saying that the black woman is sexually promiscuous like the Jezebel. She is somebody who is unpleasant to be around like the Sapphire caricature. And she is masculine and that's how they go out here and demonize the image of the black woman. But as they're demonizing the image of the black woman, they go out here and then put positive traits on the white woman in comparison, and they use those positive traits to make the white woman appear to be more attractive than she is. And that's why it's important to go out here and support new black media like I produce on the SJS Direct imprint, because that's the place where we get to see the beauty of a black woman, and that's a place where we get to see our sisters as they truly are and get to see a balanced, humanized image of black women. Because I grew up with images like your Jet Beauty of the Week and magazines like Ebony and Essence, which celebrated black beauty. And your black celebrities back then, some of them really did, were aware of the black female image and they cared about the black female image. People like Felicia Rashad's, your Bill Cosby's, and many others truly cared about the black female image, and they did everything that they could to elevate the black female image. And I thank God I was blessed to grow up in that era where there were a generation of black celebrities who were aware or and cared about the black female image and went out of their way to present the best image of black women because the only way we're going to get to see a positive image of black women is if those like myself in new black media go out here and produce the content because that's the only way we get to see those positive images of black women shown to a new generation of young black girls that will influence them and get them to take a sense of pride in what is black and feminine and see the beauty in being a black woman. Now, I hope this answers the question for my viewer as related to this subject because they requested this video. And if you want to request a video, 
you can donate to my cash app by clicking the link in the description box or sending a PayPal donation. And if you want to pick up some of my books that feature positive images of black women, like the Isis series, the e Steam series, the Spinsterella trilogy, and books like the Thetas and a Recipe for Success, you can find all of those books on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can find many others on Smashwords, the iBookstore, and Google Play. And if you want to see me make more videos like this, you can also donate to my Patreon, my PayPal, or my Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback and e-readers, all about Nikki, a fabulous first season. The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air meets Clueless in this absolutely fabulous African-American 1990s teen sitcom. Get all 13 episodes of All About Nikki, the fabulous first season, in paperback and e-readers today.